नाम जोहा है एंड आई एम अ डिजिटल फैशन डिज़ाइनर ये बहुत एक नई इंडस्ट्री है एक नई फील्ड है एंड आई एम वेरी वेरी प्रिवलेज एंड हम्बल टू बी पार्ट ऑफ इट फ्राम द वेरी गेट गो इफ़ यू टॉक अबाउट डिजिटल फैशन तो पाकिस्तान से सबसे पहला नाम मेरा ही आता है I treat fashion as art. So if it's making you feel something and that has to be something positive and uh good, so I think that is fashion. What makes a good digital fashion designer is somebody who thinks out of the box. In digital fashion, anything can be made. That is the beauty of the whole field. With social media, I think everything changed. Everything. If I want to connect with somebody sitting in London who's doing the same thing that I'm doing, I can literally just DM them, and they're like a text to it. Assalamualaikum. My name is Zoha, hai and I am a digital fashion designer. Um, I started back in 2020, end of 2020. And शुरुआत में मुझे आइडिया नहीं था कि this would be the kind of field that I would. Actually, this field did not even exist to begin with. So, ये बहुत एक नई इंडस्ट्री है, एक नई फील्ड है, and I am very, very privileged and humbled to be part of it from the very get go. And मतलब If you talk about digital fashion, तो पाकिस्तान से सबसे पहला नाम मेरा ही आता है तो अलहमदिल्ला आई हैव वर्क फॉर थ्री ईयर्स इन दिस फील्ड नाम अकॉर्डिंग टू मी फैशन इज इवोकिंग फीलिंग्स टू मेक द पर्सन हुज वेरिंग फैशन feel beautiful and feel comfortable because at the end of the day i treat fashion as art so if it's making you feel something and that has to be something positive and uh, good so i think that is fashion डिजिटल फैशन डिज़ाइनिंग एज के जो आपका फिज़िकल फैशन है इसकी एक डिजिटल रिप्रजेंटेशन आप इसको कह लीजिए जिसके अंदर हम आपको डिजिटली आपके जो कपड़े हैं आपकी वॉड्रोब्स पूरी ट्रांसलेट करके दे सकते हैं फॉर एग्ज़ाम्पल अगर आप गेम्स में पहले गेम्स आती थी जिसके अंदर आप अपने एवटार के कपड़े बदल सकते हैं राइट तो उस तरह उस तरह से आप इसको इमेजिन कर सकते हैं कि दैट इज़ वो डिजिटल फैशन इज़ कि यू कैन यू हैव अ वर्चुअल वॉड्रो एंड अपार्ट फ्राम दैट इट हेल्प अस इन द सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस विच इज़ एक्चुअली हाउ डिजिटल फैशन came into being we wanted to streamline the production processes in fashion so what happened was uh ke through these softwares uh, like cad already existed computer aided design but through these digital fashion softwares what we can do is ke jo aapke patterns hain patterns to ban rahe lekin sath hi sath hum dusri window mein dekh sakte hain ke ek avatar hai wo avatar wo kapde pehen raha hai so we know ke uski fabric फील कैसी आएगी और वो फैब्रिक की ड्रेप कैसी होगी हमें कहाँ पे कौन सा कट लगाना है एंड ऑल दैट वी कैन डू इट इन द सॉफ्टवेयर फिर जो हमारे स्टेक होल्डर्स हैं डायरेक्टर्स हैं ऑफ द कंपनी इवन द डिज़ाइन टीम द मार्केटिंग टीम वी कैन टेल दम कि ये हमारी कलेक्शन है दिस इज़ वॉट द सैम्पलिंग इज वॉट द सैम्पलिंग लुक्स लाइक और फिर वहाँ से हम इसको लेके जाते हैं टू डायरेक्टली टू प्रोडक्शन ये है इसका टेक्निकल साइड एंड द क्रिएटिव साइड ऑफ इट इज़ के वी कैन यूज वी कैन क्रिएट मार्केटिंग कैम्पेन्स फैशन फिल्म वी कैन डू एडिटोरियल शूट्स बिकॉज वी ऑलरेडी हैव द एसिड्स द डिजिटल एसिड्स जो कि आपकी लाइब्रेरी है आपके कपड़ों की वो ऑलरेडी बनी हुई है एंड वी कैन ऑल्सो दैन यू नो डिजिटाइज दैट इन टू गेमिंग 
हम उसको गेमिंग इंडस्ट्री में लेके जा सकते हैं आपके एवेटर्स जो हैं दे कैन वेयर द क्लोज यू कैन यू कैन आई द वे दम फॉर फ्री और यू कैन पाए दैम एंड वी कैन दैन ऑल्सो वेयर इट इन एक्सटेंडेड रियालिटीज इसके अंदर ए आर और वी आर आता है हमारा एंड यू कैन वेयर इट एज अ फिल्टर यू कैन यू नो टेस्ट अराउंड एंड एक्सपेरिमेंट विद दीज थिंग्स सो इट्स अ वेरी वेरी वास्ट फील्ड What makes a good digital fashion designer is somebody who thinks out of the box. क्योंकि फिजिकल फैशन में यू हैव टू लुक एट लिमिटेशन के उस चीज़ की लिमिटेशन इट कैन नॉट बी मेड बट इन डिजिटल फैशन एनी थिंग कैन बी मेड दैट इज द ब्यूटी ऑफ द होल फील्ड तो अ गुड डिजिटल फैशन डिजाइनर वुड बी समबडी हु क्रिएट समथिंग दैट इज अनएक्सपेक्टेड लाइक they have been dresses like fire dresses you literally just wearing fire or you wearing ice for that matter so things that are very very different that you would not expect and also virality factor is very very important kyunki ek nayi feel hai more the, the more the people know uh, like normal uh, layman people know uh, the better it would spread the word would spread or wo buzz jo hai that would really really help so i think that would make a very good digital fashion design The process of digital fashion designing is so. Basically, first we need to understand that there are two parts to this field. One is uh, a technical part, and one is uh, a creative part to it. So, for the technical part, what we do is okay, that before uh, anything heads into production. we create their samples we do all the sampling process at the back end we do all the approvals we do all the um, you know the patterns are made so that means that they're uh, exec very much executable and they've been full proof so you can head them directly to production to your uh, printing machines laser cutting machines and then the stitcher just needs to stitch them and then you know the the whole lot is done so where the creative part comes is the marketing and the expansion digitally so what we do there is since we already have the clothes made virtually and we we have them in avatar so what these softwares have now is that we can uh, customize the avatars we can uh, do sh entire shoots within the softwares uh, and we can also create fashion films we can you know since the field is very much integrated with different fields like uh, visual communications motion design vfx gaming so all that fields all you know the the creativity of those fields combined what we do is we then create campaigns um we we can also do you know xr is a very big umbrella for us uh, since that is one of the bigger use cases for digital fashion where you can actually do virtual try ons you can try the clothes virtually first and then you can invest in the piece um so so that's all and, and it's also very very um it's experiential it's experiential marketing so uh, it uh, you know it creates a, an association with the user so when you start using the thing so you cre you know create uh, th there is more emotion involved so that's that's also something that we do in digital fashion अभी अगर हम देखें डिजिटल फैशन विद इन द पाकिस्तानी पैरामीटर तो वट इज़ हैपनिंग इज दैट पीपल आर शिफ्टिंग फर्स्ट वी हैड पाइनियरिंग कंपनीज लाइक नूलूसर दैन यू नो केम खादी सैफाई दे यूजिंग दीज सॉफ्टवेयर टू ऑप्टिमाइज देर सैम्पलिंग प्रोसेस बिकॉज दे आर सच बिग मैस मार्केट कंपनीज सो इट बिकम्स वेरी वेरी इजियर फॉर दैम बिकॉज देर इज नो फैब्रिक वेस्टेज देर इज नो एम्प्लॉई वेस्टेज यू नो so that, so that's that's a lot of the things that go into consideration for this and in terms of marketing we're seeing emerging brands uh, start to use it to create buzz uh, and we see it a lot in streetwear though um we do not see it in couture yet we do not see it in uh, lifestyle brands 
uh, but one lifestyle brand has done it, which is Llama. I actually created the campaign for them uh, for their fall winter 2022 collection and that had a really good response from people and we started to see the shift that people, uh, we thought that it would be hard for people to associate and understand like why are you doing a digital campaign when you could, you know, go to the location, have a shoot on people but it was a very nice response because the target audience of that lifestyle company is young people young people out of college young people just entering the job community so those people got it so maybe most brands like our older generation kind of brands where the target audience is older people wiser people they might not be able to associate with digital fashion that much yet but in companies where the target audience is very young it's very very easy to uh, you know make your people understand and associate with it so i am seeing a lot um, of you know people transition into this and i and uh, globally we've seen big examples like prada louis vuitton hugo boss everybody has transitioned and actually their transition gives us uh, not a hope because we were already hopeful which is why we, we went and invested all our time and efforts into this field but it gives it gives a good affirmation that yes we were on the right track and that if big huge companies like these are uh, you know shifting to digital fashion or like even using it starting to use it um, it gives us a boost that yes this is the right way to do it and this would be the, the next 10 year trajectory for fashion in general I think digital fashion design is a profession that I did not choose for myself. It kind of just came to me and I welcomed it with open arms. It's just that uh, when I started, it was such a new field and I honestly, I did not know about it. And my first job in, in the corporate world was as a digital fashion designer, which was kind of a surprise to me. That's actually how I started. So when I was uh, in uni, I there was a course of fashion illustration. There was a module and that really, really fascinated me. And uh, after that, I like dived deep into the field of fashion illustration. And I went to one of my professors that I really looked up to. And I was like, do you think I should pursue this as a career? And he was like, no, do not do this because you won't be able to earn a living. And I was like, that's not possible. There are like so many artists who do what they want to do, but they're making a decent living out of it. So I looked into it in the local market and nobody was really doing it as a career. They were treating it more as uh, an illustration used to you know, help communicate it to your clients what the bridal would look like. So what uh, I did was I communicate, I like, uh, went and uh, you know searched uh, communities for fashion illustrators and I joined a couple of them and there was one community in specific draw dot which really really helped me early on Marcus is one of my mentors and I owe a lot to him so I I like started doing fashion illustrations and most of the work that I did was editorial style which is very very fashion so when I was uh, doing my thesis I knew which company I wanted to be hired at and I like you know targeted them and luckily I did get hired and I did go but I thought they were going to offer me a marketing or merchandising post because that's what my degree was but um, they offered me a digital fashion designers post and all at that moment as a student anything that went in my head was like so how you have to get this job because you have to get in this company so uh, that's what I did and first day at my job I was like I'm not sitting uh, where the marketing people are sitting, where the marketing team is, and I'm sitting with the design team. Uh, but I was like, it's okay, it's a challenge. They saw something in me, they, so let me see what I can do. So they gave me three months to learn Clo 3D, and um, I was like, give me one month, because I'm super competitive. So I 
I did, I self-learned everything in one month and at that time there were not a lot of tutorials and um, there were not a lot of workshops and anything of that sort. And it was a surprise to me because I did not know that I'd be good in technical computer softwares and stuff like that. I'm not even a gamer, so I have no clue how all this works. So I self-learned everything and while I was learning, the whole process was so interesting to me um, that I never, I never looked back. Fashion illustration is a field where um, what we do is we create uh, art but it is uh, specialized in fashion. So what I mean by that is uh, we can we see editorial shoots in it, like magazine covers we, like in ancient times, not ancient but like um, in the 1960s, 50s. We, uh, how did advertisement and marketing start? It started through illustrations. Even shaving cream ads used to have um, a drawing in it, an illustration, and that used to be in the newspaper. So that is how old uh, fashion illustrations go. So what we do is we optimize it and we uh, target it towards specifically fashion and we um, do runway sketches in it, we can, we can create uh, you know, 2D sketches and we can get the client's approval on it, which now is easier through uh, digital fashion though, but that's also something that you do in fashion illustrations. And then uh, you, cre you create flat layouts of the patterns. That's also something that's included in it. So it's, it's, uh, it's not something that is very massively uh, opted for but uh, the field does exist and people do uh, are, are starting to you know hire digital fashion fashion illustrators now more often xr um, is an umbrella term you can use curtains can there aata hai ar and vr so ar is augmented reality vr is virtual reality for ar what we do is it includes filters so anything that you can use on your phone um, you know that is AR and then for VR what it is you need uh, an external device like an oculus headset or an Apple Vision Pro you put it on and then you see um, you know things different to what you would in real life. My first international collaboration was with Swatch, which is a watch company. Uh, I created designs for them, exclusive one of ones, and um, that was the first one. After that, I uh, partnered with Digital Fashion Week and I had uh, my shows with them and I've been having them regularly with them. Uh, apart from that, I also uh, partnered with uh, Glitch magazine which created the world's first AR optimized magazine so every page you see in, in like a, a traditional fashion magazine you would you know have pictures and editorial shoots but in this you would also have a little barcode which you could scan and then you know the thing would come in real life which was through AR. So that is a collaboration that I did and then uh, there's one very, very memorable one that I did with DJ Ape. So for his first European concert, I created the background visuals for him. And just like that, you know, different events, Blockdown Festival, NFC Lisbon, and you know, I've, I've participated in all of them. Yes, I am an award-winning designer. So what happened was I applied for this. Uh, it's it's a very old fashion illustration agency called FIDA Worldwide. It's one of the biggest. And uh, I always wanted to be part of them. And they had this, uh, they had these awards going on for 
uh, fashion illustrators and one of them was Fashion Futures Award which was for uh, 3D designers and you know digital fashion artists and I applied for that and I you know kind of just forgot about it and I thought I wouldn't really get it but um, I did end up getting it and it was a very big deal for me because I've been looking up to these people for a very very long time and I've been wanting um, you know this level of recognition so it was very very humbling for me to receive that and also from people that I really respect and look up to and uh, another very exciting experience for me was a fashion film that I made uh, called Identity, which was based on the identity crisis faced by South Asian immigrants. Uh, and everything was depicted through fashion, fashion clothing. So uh, that was debuted at Digital Fashion Week, but then I also submitted it for uh, the Fashion Film Festival uh, Milano Awards, and it was nominated for Best Web 3 Film. So that was a huge achievement to be recognized by such big, profound names and uh, you know just just being just being recognized in the fact that you know those people actually looked at your work is a big achievement in itself so i'm very thankful that i did get that in a very early stage of my career fashion design maybe we have trends and um, the trends are very much fleeting to be honest just like every other trend is uh, it's just that a, a, if a big company does something for example if Prada launches a, a time capsule NFT collection so everybody is then going to kind of you know the uh, the visual of that collection is going to trickle down and people are going to start using the same visual so I think in terms of that uh, that becomes a trend that if somebody is uh, using a different kind of um, way to express themselves or um, a campaign that they do is very very different so people will start to uh, take that in so that is kind of uh, you could say a trend but but I don't think there are much trends at the moment With social media, I think everything changed, everything. Um, like e-commerce changed the whole, uh, you know, the outlook on how to purchase products. Uh, likewise, what social media did was is it eradicated all barriers. So if I want to connect with somebody sitting in London who's doing the same thing that I'm doing, I can literally just DM them and they're like a text to it. So that is very important. For example, if I want to build my LinkedIn, uh, and I want to connect with high level people but in my daily life I would not be able to approach them I, or I would not have access to them but through this everybody is very much accessible you can always drop a DM uh, or you can connect via different agencies and stuff like that social media has really uh, made communication and connection very easy I think I'm still chasing my dream and I think one person does not have one dream per se or I at least do not and I think you dream, you have multiple dreams and the dreams keep transitioning into something else so when I you know went into digital illustrations I thought oh one dream came true but then there's so many dreams lined up so I feel like I'm still chasing you know my dream but I, I know I have lived a couple of dreams so uh, I know the feeling and it's very very um, exciting and it's very fun uh, but again it fades out you know so you 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 need that kick you need that uh, inspiration in life so I think you keep dreaming and that's how life should be.
This is Zoha Khan. Thank you for having me on Fashion Diary and keep watching Discover Pakistan.